Welcome to Sandwiches of History today from Beverages and Sandwiches for Your Husband's Friends by One Who Knows in 1893. We're going to be making the aubergine sandwich. Aubergine, of course, meaning eggplant. Uh, and this is another sandwich where if you're in a hurry, <laughs> you might want to choose a different sandwich. All right, so the first thing we have to do is parboil an eggplant, an aubergine. And I've never parboiled one before. I read up that you have to poke it so that it doesn't explode. And we got to boil this for about 10 minutes. <laughs> Don't worry, I use some tongs to wedge it in there. <laughs> okay, now we're supposed to cut the top off. It says to scoop out the insides. Uh, it's not really that well cooked. Don't worry though, it's going back in the oven. Well, that was a disaster. Uh, maybe they had smaller eggplants back then. Maybe they had eggplants that didn't just float. Um, but even just 10 minutes in the water, there's no way I could have scooped out the flesh and put it back in the uh, shell like they said to. So I've scooped out the flesh. I'm gonna continue on from there. The essence is the same. I'm scooping out the flesh, I'm mashing it, seasoning it. We're gonna roast it in the oven for a little bit. All right, let's do it. it says to season well with butter, salt, and pepper. Now into a quick oven, which I learned is uh, 375 to 400, uh, to bake. And then we put this on a hot buttered toast. I mean, honestly, this doesn't sound bad. It's just the process is weird. Okay, let's give this aubergine sandwich a go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Buttery toast. A nice eggplant. You gotta like eggplant. Salt, pepper. It's not bad. It really is not bad, but um, I am gonna plus it up. First things first, a little harissa. Harissa being a Moroccan spicy paste. A few pine nuts. Because pine nuts and eggplant go really well together. And a little bit of parsley. Okay, let's give this plussed up aubergine sandwich a go. That was nice. You're kind of getting a little heat, a little red bell pepper, a little garlic, and the crunch of the pine nuts, and then the nice uh, kind of vegetal qualities of the parsley. I like it. That is good. I am going to finish that. So today we're going to do three ratings. One for the process, one for the uh, regular sandwich, one for the plus up. The regular sandwich, that was pretty tasty. I would give it a five. Um, it wasn't crazy interesting, but it was good. It was middle of the road. Uh, with the harissa and the pine nuts and the parsley, I'd probably bump that up to a seven, seven and a half. It was quite good. It's really good. I am going to finish it. And uh, the process, the process gets a big fat zero. Goose egg. Because uh, you don't need to do this. Just roast the eggplant. It gets smoky. You can, you can char the eggplant over fire and it gets smoky. Or you can roast it and it's a lot easier. Uh, and then just put that between two pieces of butter toast. It'd be much better and a lot easier. <sighs> you know, in this case, I think the one who knows doesn't. All right. See you next time.